I now speak to you as the honorary editor of Polynesian Society. And of course, we begin with Apirabunata, who joined the Polynesian Society in 1895, three years after its founding, and was its president from 1938 to his death in 1950. What he bequeathed to the society and through its publications to New Zealand and the world was an unrivaled and scholarly collection of what he judged to be the finest examples of Waiata he had collected and recorded from Iwi throughout Aotearoa. Part four, comprising Maori texts only and discovered in the Alexander Turnbull Library in the late 80s, was edited by Tamati Reedy, published in 1990, and reprinted in 1996. Professor Haridi Mokomid willingly agreed to undertake the translation, and Pai Okimala Matanga has provided the funds. I paid my customary respects to the great figure of Sir Nata, responsible for the treasures of Namo Tetea, parts one, two, three, and four, and to Dr. Pei Tehuduni Jones for his vast contribution to these works, especially after the passing of Sir Irini Mokomi, in translating into English, the final collection of Namo Tetea, part four, follows in the footsteps of those great scholars, revealing nuances and deeper understanding than that which might be read, read by many at a literal level. In my view, this remains the greatest work of this literary genre ever produced in this country, and certainly the best works ever collected, which reveal the passions and the intellectual insights of the ind indigenous people of this land. Ma. I want to say it's a privilege and an honor to play a small part in the monumental work begun by Sofida Nangata. Sofida Nangata died after volume one was published. Then Pei Tehurinui died after volume three. That left the final volume number four <coughs> without benefit of their great knowledge. And so Sofida Nangata's great project remained unfinished and languished for a number of years. Now, I was approached to do the English translations for the final volume for the songs numbered from 301 to 393. So what you are seeing this evening is the joint contribution of Tamati Rini and myself. Now all of us here owe a great deal to the vision and tenacity of Sir Nangata and paid the Hurino Jones. We also owe a large debt to the Polynesian Society for updating the volumes, for now completing volume four, and producing a really handsome four-volume collection of Maori poetry, of language rich in emotion, of metaphors lofty in conception, and which draw on the awesome features of our natural world to make a point, and which together constitute a valuable contribution to Māori knowledge. He <laughs> Mote to tatu lanatahi, to tatu hoa pahea, mo te ao whanu, mo ngā whare wānanga o te ao, 
Kapitaya inai ni kap tamat puku puku ni kap anui hia ngakore ridoti jero pake katahi ka mara mara te taong te taong no aotea. Tato ma ko pong ngakore ya pong ngai ma te tuku ati te ni puku puka ya puto ki a tato tamariki ki a tato hapu iwi ana ki te ao fan. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hold on.